How my people doing tonight? It's just a little dog talk and some more of it. It's just a little dog talk and some more of it. How y'all doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing just fine. Because uh, <laughs> no matter what you say, I'm not going to stop saying that the American bully should look like a terrier dog. Most of y'all, I'm going to show you my dog. I know she looks terrier, but I'm going to tell you something. She 13 to 14 inches, and she already just came out of her first heat. Will she grow anymore? I'm not positive. I'm not positive, but she this this is her last chance to grow just in case I was going to get ready to breed her on her second heat. And guess what? She ain't even a big old dog. And I've been sitting here saying over and over again, the, the terrier throws a pocket dog. Well, I own one. The proof is in the pudding. And I will open the trunk of my car because I drive a, a Highlander. I will open that hatch back there and she will jump right in it as a pocket dog. You want to know why, though? Because first of all, her wrist, a dog's wrist, is not supposed to be bent inward. When you look at some of these, these uh, well, exotics too, but some of these extremes, the wrist, the wrist, and I wish I could show you, the wrist right up in here, that, that's bent in. Their wrist is bent in. So, you know what I'm saying? Normally, their toes are pushed out forward. Their, their toes are going forward looking like, like they're sliding. But really, he's standing straight. You know what? He's actually standing on the back of his heels, some of them, on the extremes. When you look at them, the, the wrist of the dog is sometimes pushed in to where the toes are pointing out. They're, they're pointing facing the sky. You say that that right there is how the dog is supposed to look. And maybe that's the reason why the dog can't jump. You know what I'm saying? Over things or even some of these dogs can't even jump in the car. I told you, you're going to lose something to gain something when you looking for a specific dog. The American bully. I don't believe me myself personally that it should change to look like some other type of dog Basically, a dog with bulldog features. Why should it change to look like a dog with bulldog features? It was, it did not come from a dog with bulldog features. See, this is where we're all going to defer. This right here is where we're all going to defer. Even though you have the dog, you probably got this massive dog. I don't. I don't. I got, I got, I got, I got a pocket. I got a terrier pocket. That's what I got, a terrier pocket. Like I've been saying, these dogs are terrier anyway. I own one, a terrier pocket. She don't got no bulldog features. And you know what? She looks nice the way she is because some of the some of the dogs that are getting some of the dogs that are getting smaller. You know, they're getting smaller. Some of the dogs that are getting smaller. Why are they faces even looking like they're getting longer? I mean, there's some features on these dogs that do look a little bit trippy. Yeah, he got a nice body. His body is wide. Okay, that's nice. I like a wide body too. I like a, I like a wide body too. But I don't want my dog to be bowed out. Why would you want your dog to be so bowed out that he can't even perform like he's supposed to? I mean, uh, you could... You could you could put too much weight on a dog. I mean, you could put a lot of weight on a human. You could put too much weight on a human. So most definitely, you could put too much weight on a dog. Now, I'm going to be very, very sincere with you. 100 pounds on a 13 or 14 or 12 inch frame, 12, 13 and 14. That's a lot of weight on that dog. 
And where in history have you ever seen a pit bull terrier or a Staffordshire terrier? And I know you don't want the dog to look like a pit bull or a Staffordshire. But where in history have you seen one that fat? Like just completely that fat. Because at some point in time, y'all, y'all, y'all might be mistaking muscle for fat. When you have the back legs of some of the these, you know, extreme dogs, these muscular dogs, look at how their legs, their back legs seem like they squatting down. They're not extended straight. I'm on, I only paid attention to some of the dogs that I see in that class. They're, they're, the back of their legs are not extended straight to where their hawks is, uh, 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 be at an angle. From what I understand, they're supposed to be at a 75 degree angle. These dogs don't have hawks at 75 degree angles because their, their body of the dog, you can see his legs is bent up. Man, come on, man. Look at the dog. So from the longer face to the longer body to some of the legs look uh, 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 looking like they're bending at the wrist. They look like they're bending at the wrist to where the toes are pointing up towards the sky. Is all of that stuff what you looking for on a dog? That's, that's what you looking for? You looking for a dog that can't jump in a car? My dog jumping this motherfucker right now. And jump out. I have to chain her up. And she's a pocket. She may be a little thin. Don't worry about that. I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, I mean, when it comes to her, I can't pack no mass on her. I can't do nothing to her. Her slender body is just, that's just what it is. It's a slender body. She chases balls. She goes to the park. She runs around. She do, she do everything. I've showed her a lot. She does everything. I've even showed her jumping in and out of my car. A truck at a pocket size. I do not believe that the American bully is supposed to change facial features. Why? Why would it change from being a box head? I'm the type of person that's seen dogs. Uh, let me see. I used to see these pit bulls back in 82, 81, 82, and 83 when my uncles and my dads was having them. My dad had my dads. <laughs> my dad had them. You know what I'm saying? My uncles. Real facts. And then white dogs that they had were not pockets. And, you know, some of them was probably pockets, but they wasn't just short dogs. They, they were short, but these dogs were not short dogs. They were white. They were brindle. They were red. I never seen a tricolor dog when I was growing up. I never, ever seen a tricolor pit bull or a uh, American Bully, Staffordshire, or anything when I was growing up. I never seen a blue dog when I was growing up. These are all traits that was introduced. This is why the dog changed features in the face and he don't look like a pit bull no more. I never seen half these colors when I was growing up and you never did either. So if you one of the people that just started uh, messing with dogs in the 20th century, I'm, it, I feel sorry for you. You know, because you can't tell people who been messing with dogs what a dog is supposed to look like. It's just it's just people ain't going to believe you. Once we see a tricolor uh, dog. You have no other choice but to think there's Rottweiler in that dog. So his face his facial feature should change. His facial feature should change because you just introduced another blood that Rottweiler. You got tricolor dogs, man. You got blue dogs. Nobody has a Connie Corso on their paperwork. Nobody has a Presa Canario on their paperwork. Nobody has the blue bulldog on their paperwork. Nobody. But these is how the dogs is looking. So this is why your dog is taking on a different feature in the face. Because behind your dog is some mastiff. Behind your dog is some mastiff. That's just it. It's some mastiff behind it. It's some borable behind that dog. It's some borable behind it and you didn't put it on the paperwork. The dogs that made these dogs different colors aren't on the paperwork. Sorry, man. I just don't believe a lot of things. I don't believe a lot of things. And I know. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something, man. I am not trying to ruffle no feathers with nobody. I'm just talking dogs. That's all. I'm just talking dogs. And I'm, you know, sometimes I just like to talk about the dogs that I know. 
And I've seen and I've been around being truthful about a dog, man. Being truthful about a dog. You you taking every single dog in the whole bully game and you done made him small. What the hell? You mean to tell me every single dog in the bully game is small now? That's because you removed the terrier. Whoever is in agreement, if you agree with mo removing the terrier from the American bully, if you agree with that, then I think you're making a new dog. And maybe y'all should get that new dog a new name because maybe I want one. I might want one of your dogs. I'm not saying that they ugly. I'm saying that they don't look like they ancestors in no shape, form, or fashion. No dog bred itself. He, he had to come from somewhere. Well, these dogs come from pits and staffs, and they don't look like them. I don't know how you get an ex extreme dog. And I like the extremes. I'm not dookieing on no extremes. I'm just saying, how you get that dog? How did you shrink the dog down to size? Nobody will tell you how they shrunk the dog down to size. Nobody going to put, put it on their paperwork how the dog shrunk down to size. It just shrunk. It just mutated. It's, it's, just, it's just a lie, man. And that's just it. That's just a lie. It's just a lie, man. Let me tell you something. Ain't no dog going to mutate, bro. You could get that shit from inbreeding. You could do some, some inbreeding and crazy things happen to your dog. Some of them might get smaller. Some of them might get taller. Could be some uh, deficiencies going on there. Some defects. Yeah, it could be some of that. But you're not finna just go breed no dog, man. And this dog finna have 10 puppies of pockets. And you're going to put on the paperwork, all bullies. Ain't no Chihuahua, ain't no uh, Boston Terrier, ain't no Pug, ain't no Frenchie. The facial features then turn about five different times. And the reason they keep turning is because you keep adding a new Frenchie or a new Pug. It's, that's just it. But now when you look at some of these fa faces on these ex extreme dogs I've been seeing, their faces got longer. They got longer faces. See, th that dog itself is taking on a different facial feature than the American bully. It don't even look like the American bully. It got its own facial feature. Every single dog is turning into a different dog. How do you... Uh, you know what? It's kind of like crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. See, and it's going to stay crazy as long as you keep deviating from the terrier dog. You don't have to keep throwing terrier in your dog. You do not have to. If you was breeding Razor's Edge, it would already be there and you wouldn't have to worry about it. But if you got these other dogs, dogs that you could completely see is broke down. This dog can't get in the, in, 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 in the car with you. Can't walk four blocks, which is a mile. If you walk that dog a mile, you might have to walk him two miles down, this, two blocks down the street and two blocks back. That way you get back home safely. You got, th you know, dogs that get tired quick. The heavy breathing is just, don't even talk about it no more. We're going to talk about heavy breathing for when you breeding a dog to be two, 200 pounds. And he's so small. And, you you know, I don't know how you pack on that many pounds without using a different blood. The bloods aren't being told. Dogs all on the paperwork being bred from exotics. They got exotics on American bully paperwork. But you're not supposed to say, well, this dog is a terrier. Well, well a damn show sure ain't no exotic dog, and you got exotic dogs on the paperwork. It is a terrier. Why, why are you scared to say this dog is a terrier? What is the problem with that? I mean, like, what's up with that, uh, saying that the dog is a terrier? What's up with, uh, what's up with telling people the dog's lineage? Why you don't want nobody to know the dog's lineage? So we straying off. I mean, really, if you make an American bully without the terrier, it's, it's a different dog. You're not going to put no Amstaff in there? 
So you're against this, right? You're, you're against putting Pitbull back up in the dog. Why? Like, why? I mean, I like, why? It ain't supposed to look like that. It is supposed to look like that. That's his ancestors. If you was breeding him, yeah, and no one said you couldn't put a third blood in there or even a fourth or a fifth or a sixth blood up in there. Long as you could put it on the paperwork and people know what the heck they breeding because most of the time they come buy a dog from y'all and they're going to take it and breed it to their stuff and, and the puppies don't look like your dog. They didn't got semen from you and went back to their dog and bred, but the puppies don't look like your dog. To me, that's a waste of money. You just wasted your money. If you take your money, hard-earned money, out your pocket to go breed to this designer dog, and when you put that semen in your girl dog and she have her babies, none of those babies look like that designer dog. Y'all done seen this multiple times because there's too many genetics trying to play a role. Way too many genetics trying to play a role. So when they get to forming with each other, they, they make this funny looking facial feature that you guys see all the time. You're playing with genetics, and genetics is 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 it's is, is playing its role. It's a funny thing to play with, huh? When you're playing with genetics, then you can see the dogs changing colors and height. What happened to the brindle dogs? There ain't no more brindle dogs. See, when you put in all these new dogs, you took away the color, the original colors. Nobody has really too many brindles in their litters no more. That's because you don't got the ancestors, the heritage. You working with a different suit. We told you to make American bully suit. Y'all making American bully bulldog suit. We didn't tell you to put no bulldog in there. And everybody just knows for a fact that the American bully started with bulldog. Well, we do know for a fact that there was a bulldog snuck in there, but that don't mean you got to go do it. If you was breeding two of the same dogs already, you'd be coming up with different features. And then you take your dog and you go out cross it with your homie dog. Who got the same kind of dog as you? You guys got to understand the American bully is just a scatterbred dog now. It's all mixed up. Everybody got every kind of different American bully that you can own because nobody believes in the terrier no more. It's against the law to breed to a terrier dog in the American bully community. And, and, and in order to start over from ground zero, because you're going to have to anyway, the more you keep breeding these dogs, in order to start over from ground zero, you're going to need that terrier dog. You're going to need to have to incorporate terrier. There is not going to be a way around it. Now, if you don't want to, fine, you don't have to. There's other American bullies out here that you can breed to. One thing about it, I'm pretty sure everybody can see the faces on these dogs changing. Look at the faces getting longer. There shouldn't be no reason why the face change and start getting longer. And if you really, really want to keep it real, some of them look game doggish in the face. They look just like a game dog. They took away, they hey, some of them extremes took away from the American bully too. They lost the American bully facial feature. They don't even look like American bullies. They look like something different. The eyes are different. The walk is totally different. They're, they're so adorable. I mean, you can't say they're not. But one thing you can say that they're not is, is bully, American bully. All these dogs are trying to take the place of a, a razor's edge and trying to just kick him on the ground. Y'all don't want nobody to talk about no razor's edge dogs. No, we got to breed to this dog over here because he's grand champion. And man, shit. You know how many razor's edge dogs is grand champions, but they can't breed to those because those are terriers. And we don't want those in the breed. It's not a bulldog. Nope, we don't want it. Closest thing that we could put in the breed is a, a, a miniature Staffordshire Terrier. 
<laughs> Establish our bull terrier. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it is. And a lot of people is just agreeing with everything. If your boy say, hey, this will look good like that, you'll say, okay. Instead of saying, you know what, man? Genetic wise, that might not be good. Health wise, that might not be good. Standard wise, that might not be good. No, if the dogs look, it's two dogs with the same color, they look right, or you just can't happen to find a girl dog and he just can't happen to find a boy. That's how this all works. And it don't even matter what y'all breeding. One could be a tricolor and the other one could be a blue. A blue tri is what you finna get. I never seen no, no blue tries. I ne I like blue tries. Don't get faced to bully wrong, man. I like blue tries, but I never seen that shit. I never seen it. I really, 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 I ain't even gonna lie. I really never hardly seen any tick dogs, but I like tick dogs. But I hardly, I hardly ever seen any tick dogs. And it really don't matter what color you come up with now that I haven't seen that. I never saw that stuff when when real game dogs and real Staffordshires was running around here. And we wasn't, no, it wasn't none of them colors. This is all brand new. And ain't nobody in the bully game going to tell it to you probably like I'm going to tell it to you. It is what it is, man. It's It's, you know... Now, there's some people out here that's going to tell it to you like I'm telling it to you. Yeah, you know who that, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, there's some people out here that will tell it. I got to say, I got to, I got to take that one back. Yeah, it's, it's a few cats around here right now that'll tell it to you. You know what I'm saying? The way that I'm telling it to you. Hey, bro, you breeding a pug, my dude. You got a, a horrible cross, man. That's what you got. That's why your dog is so, you got a chihuahua in your blood. Yeah, you got to have some kind of short trait up in there to make your dog so small to the ground. Why he get small to the ground like that? Huh? Why he get small to the ground? How he get 12 inches? How he get 13 and 14 and 15 inches? How? Because you bred to something small and you didn't put it on your paperwork just like the rest of the people did. And that's just it. Tell the truth and shame the devil, man. That's just it. We finna tell the truth and shame the devil. Yeah, you. Well, if they say it's cheating the game, hell yeah, you been cheating the game. Hell yeah, it's a lot of motherfuckers cheating the game. Your dog didn't have no business, no business getting that small, and he damn sure ain't got no business being that wide. He ain't got no business being that wide. What made him that wide? A bulldog trait. The Staffordshire Terrier legs sit under the chest. And just about, that's how a pit bull should look. Ain't no dog got no bowed out arms. It's the reason they can't hop. It's the reason they can't jump. And some of, no, 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 no. For real, let me say this though. When you look at some of them little smaller dogs, don't they look like when they start walking, they're hopping from the back? They're not taking steps, they're hopping. You can't take away from the American bully and make a new dog smaller than the American bully and say he's better. Bullshit. You can't do it. You can't do it. That dog ain't better than any, than any American bully. None. None. The face of the bully. Raise his edge. Been that way for years. See, when something is good, you try to tear it up. It's just too good. It can't be beat. So let's tear it up. That's what this is all about. You just want to tear up the edge because it's too good. You can't be, you can't beat it. None of them dogs, none of them extreme dogs is finna mess with no, they the same size as a razor's edge and they still ain't finna mess with no edge dogs. Ain't no way you gonna put an extreme out there and, 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 and make him run and he going to be the razor's edge dog and running. Ain't no way you finna set him outside in a parking lot and make him jump in your car. And he ain't going to be able to jump in your car. Dogs that are disabled and handicapped, you can't fuck with an edge dog. Sorry, you disabled. You handicapped. 
Let's tell the truth, man. Let's tell the truth. Ain't no bulldog ever been able to mess with no razor's ass dog. And I don't give a damn if you packed on the mask and you packed on the bone and he's got these big old bones and these big old arms. He's not Edge. He got something else in him. Sorry. And that's just it. I don't, I will never believe that that dog just grew like that. Any dog just grew to a hundred and goddamn 10 pounds and now you 12 inches and 13 inches off the ground, man, damn. I don't know what you did to get that dog that small, but that's when you can say a motherfucker cheating the game. Something happened. Somebody cheating and somebody lying. See, this why, I, oh man, look at here. I can't do nothing but tell you the truth. Somebody cheating and somebody lying. Ain't no dog just shrunk up like that. What you putting that dog make him shrink up like that? You won't tell nobody, but that's fine. That's fine, man. You don't have to tell nobody. Because just like I'm always tell you, like I always do around this time. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully. You know what I'm saying? And uh, no, you're, you're, no, those dogs can't compete with a razor's edge dog. No. No. And I got a pocket right now. Tear your pocket and can't none of them fuck with her neither. Nah, it's just it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, they wider than her. Yeah, but she got all her legs. She got all her ancestors in her. That's what it's all about, is your ancestors. When you stray off from the uh, razor's edge and you put another breed in your dog, you should have put that other breed on your paperwork. Face the bullet.